Hello, introducing Curio Sites, a new program for introducing, you know, very useful websites and apps that can increase our everyday life and personal productivity. You know, it's very useful uh, sites and tactics and tricks and especially the, the apps I will present here. So in this episode, let us see how to choose uh, supplements, uh, you know, uh, like garlic or uh, does it work or not? So that is a question here, right? So for example, vitamin capsule or, uh, you know, the fish oil supplement, is it really worth spending money on these supplements? So of course, uh, it's all based on the scientific evidence, right? Do we have enough evidence to substantiate our decision to purchase these supplement? That is a key question here. You know, so how to do that? How do we make the decision? It's not that uh, people, other other friends are purchasing vitamin D, uh, vitamin D for cancer prevention. Let me also purchase the same vitamin D for cancer prevention. So that kind of uh, uh, rationalization of the purchase is not scientific. So every decision has to be based on science, right? And scientific evidence. So that is what uh, this one is all about right so the supplement purchase so uh, one of the very interesting website which I really liked is something called snake oil supplements so to go to that particular website I have linked up in the show notes of this video check it out otherwise you can simply google it uh, you know if you don't have access to this of course if you haven't saved that site simply google it snake oil supplement information Otherwise, snake oil supplement alone would take you this page. So just click on the first link. Uh, it should be ideally say snake oil supplements. Information is beautiful. Oh, I love this website. Information is beautiful. A lot of data visualization tools, you know. And this particular site, if you click on this, the first link, so it will take you to the, uh, the, the website. So let me go to the website where I actually work on. So this is my browser. So this browser, I use uh, something called Brave browser. So it's really nice browser. It's based on the privacy, privacy oriented browser, the Brave. All right, so this is a site, the information is beautiful. So what is this all about? Friends, for evidence-based medicine and evidence-based science, the, the top, uh, I mean, for the, the medicine, evidence-based science, uh, uh, you know, science -based, scientific evidence-based medicine, uh, the most important resource is something called Cochrane Review. It is a current gold standard, you know. So basically, if you look at like anything, for example, fish oil, that is omega-3 for uh, pregnancy, is it is it good or bad? So uh, one good example would be aspirin. Aspirin, of course, aspirin is good for the cardio production, but also it has a trade-off, you know. Most of the supplements and most of the drugs are having this kind of... Uh, uh, you know, so it's it's like a zero-sum game, right? So it's it's a give and take or trade-offs are there So there are some good points and there are some bad points. For example aspirin Of course it protects from the, uh, the coronary artery disease, but it also thins your blood. So risk of Bleeding is very high. So you need this risk benefit analysis So if you look at that aspirin some paper will say yes, it's really good. Some paper will say no, it's not good so that is why your decision should not be based on primary research you know because the primary research there is no consensus so you have to look at different kinds of thousands of primary research and how many papers say that it works and how many it did, uh, say it doesn't work or the side you know the the side effects uh, out, outweigh the benefits so in that case then uh, taking the aspirin is of no use isn't it so that is what you call uh, the Cochrane review does exactly the same it's a meta-analysis analysis of analysis so it's meta-analysis and uh, and finally the Cochrane review comes with a solid recommendation uh, does it work or not so this particular website is taken directly from the Cochrane review and it keep on updating whenever a new Cochrane review is published you know, of course science is always learning and unlearning right and relearning that is the spirit of Cochrane review also you know so whenever a new site uh, uh, new uh, you know review is available in Cochrane review this site updates that that's really interesting you know so it's very very important so it's basically how to make use of this diagram so it's snake oil supply it's a very kind of kind of a large data so it's basically the x-axis doesn't make any sense here only y-axis so as you see the y-axis it's strong while uh, much below will be uh, you know none no effect while here there is a strong effect 
these are nothing but evidence you know so y axis is evidence x axis doesn't make sense it's just conveniently arranged this bubble so the bubble is this bubble plot and the bubble the size is very small while some some size is really big like coffee here is based on the popularity you can see it here uh, you know it's, it's based the size is proportional to the popularity so coffee is it good or bad yeah it depends you see so anything fish oil fish oil for cancer therapy is not good I mean, it doesn't work. But fish oil for pregnancy, that is to prevent the preterm birth, yes, there is a very good quality evidence, you know. So coffee to prevent the heart disease, excellent evidence we have. So if you really want to see that, what is the kind of evidence, what is the quality, you can just click here to see that exact same Cochrane review that will take you to that review. So it's basically, it's not just one review. Cochrane FC is thousands of studies. And finally, they do a meta-analysis of the analysis. Just check it out. The kind of work that the Cochrane guys does is amazing. I'm really a huge fan of this Cochrane review. Uh, it's one website I use very often, especially for giving the, the health uh, and nutri nutrition-based advices to you people through my YouTube channel. So Cochrane review is amazing. And this is all based on the Cochrane review. So it's very interesting, you know. So coffee for heart disease, there is a very high evidence other extremely strong evidence is calcium and vitamin D, you know, for bone health. A combination of vitamin D and calcium is pretty good for your bone health. And sometimes it's very small, but still it's amazing. For example, Hawthorn. Hawthorn is a herb, you know. So Hawthorn for heart function in chronic heart failure patients. There is excellent evidence, you know. So if you want to buy the Hawthorn, for if if you have somebody with a heart problem, heart failure or uh, arrhythmia, you know the, the beat problems, uh, tachycardia, for example. So you can buy it. It must be expensive. I'm sure thousands of rupees, but it's worth it. You know, rather than spending uh, some money which uh, which doesn't actually work at all. One good example would be folic acid for cancer. If you think that folic acid will prevent cancer, you're wrong. It doesn't work. Or niacin or vitamin B3 for, you know, for what? Uh, uh, heart disease. Uh, people take it. Uh, but it's potentially harmful, you see. Niacin never be taken as a preventive for the heart disease. Check, go and check it out. So uh, it's not even just none, but it could be harmful as well. For example, vitamin E to prevent mortality, uh, it actually backfires. It's harmful. Vitamin E actually leads to high mortality. So instead of paying so much money for uh, all these things, for example, omega-6 uh, fatty acid for the heart health, no benefit. What is the point of spending so much money or your hard earned money for, for example, aloe vera for burns and cuts? No, it doesn't work, you know, or prostate cancer, fish oil supplement. It is harmful for uh, prostate cancer, the fish oil. So if you're listening to your friend's advice, friend is advising in case, unfortunately, if you're identified with the prostate cancer, friend is saying, go and take fish oil. It's really fantastic. But you take it then your situation will get aggravated because it's harmful for that is what the recent studies are so unless you keep on updating it so you know it's so before buying any kind of supplements check out this is a very interesting site i, I really love it and vitamin d tablet for cancer i know that many people take it vitamin d to prevent cancer no it doesn't work so, you know, it's it's uh, just you can check it out. or Sam E for depression, even doctors advise to take Sam E, uh, you know, for depression. No, it's not working that way. You know, so instead of that, you can go with uh, uh, some other uh, evidence based therapeutics for the depression. For example, St. John's Ward, it's a herb and we have got excellent evidence, you know, that it actually works for uh, the depression so St. John's wort is also not that terrifically expensive and it works ginger for nausea and uh, you know morning sickness it works so basically there is one line here this is the the top most one this is a strong evidence and good evidence and you know promising evidence and there is a line so anything above this line this line uh, the website say worth it line so anything above this line, it's worth spending your money on because there is a very high quality data that substantiate that the purchase is rationalized. Uh, you know, it's justified. But anything below this line, for example, dark chocolate for controlling blood pressure, uh, no, it is, it's inconclusive. 
you know or you know for uh, another example which many people actually fall for is uh, you know the uh, uh, this kind of things you know for example uh, uh, olive leaf extract you know olive uh, for controlling the blood pressure or even the the tea you know i i couldn't see it where exactly is or garlic for the cold no there is no evidence for the gar garlic for cold or bitter melon for diabetes many people actually fall pray for this uh, thing anyway bitter gourd is uh, otherwise is a very good vegetable i love bitter gourd you know karela i love it so but uh, uh, you know it, it, it's you're portraying bitter gourd as a as a treatment scenario for diabetes no that is incorrect you see so if you like bitter gourd go and enjoy it no problem or green tea for uh, reducing the weight you know weight loss so no it doesn't work that way so to reduce the weight there is no uh, one uh, you know magic amulet of course you have to exercise you have to control your diet isn't it exercise and diet is really important so otherwise no so this particular site is really useful and i suggest you go check it out link is in the show notes of this particular video and look at your worth it line anything above this line i would say it's good because this is not uh, based on some hearsay it's based on high quality data you know that is what does the cochrane review is all about right so i'm a big fan of cochrane review you should be too because cochrane review is not based on one or two articles here and there even though sometimes the article published in top journal like uh, science or pinas or nature can also uh, be earned you know so it's it's not wise to depend all your decision based on one uh, uh, scientific paper we need a consensus you know so that is why meta analysis is really important and check out this i i really enjoyed this particular uh, website i hope you will like it too and if you like this tip please click thumbs up and share it in your groups and do subscribe to my channel before leaving uh, i wish you all the best uh, on your purchase of the supplements and please take care i see you soon in my next video goodbye